Hey Sainers, welcome back to the Saints TV YouTube channel. Welcome to Saints TV Weekly for September 2nd, 2024. Thanks to Inglewood Coffee Roasters, so check them out on their website. As always, www.inglewoodcoffeeroasters.com.au. Use the discount code and you get 40% off coffee, tea and chai products. Thanks again for Inglewood sponsoring this video for this season. Let's kick it off with the AFLW. The season started on the weekend and the girls were absolutely phenomenal. I watched the game in full with the fam, and um, that's the best I've seen them and most teams play in the AFLW, to be honest. Like, they were absolutely brilliant. They were so clean. They were so fast with the football. Um, Jessie Wardlaw in the forward line was absolutely dominant. I think she's kicked her two or three. And I think it was the one of the highest scores, or if not the highest score we've ever kicked, if I'm not mistaken, and 54 points being the margin. And it was from start to finish, four goals to zero in the first quarter, six goals to one half time, seven goals to one three quarter time, 11 goals to two at the, the, you know, at the final siren. So Wardlaw, Vesley, Smith, McDonald, Lambert, Richards, Priest, they were all absolutely amazing. Um, Anderson, Guttridge, Smith, Friends, and Stewart got... On the end of a few goals there at um, People First Stadium on the Gold Coast, so that's a that's a really impressive away win for the girls. I think that puts them in the top four. Um, and now the exciting thing is back at RSCA on Sunday, three o five p.m. against Sydney, which is a hugely winnable game. Um, so they could start the season two and zero, which would be the first time they've ever done that. And the way we finished last season, winning five of our last six, the way we did. And almost just making finals, a late run for it to start the season the way we have now. No real surprise. I'm really impressed with the way the girls are going. Credit to Nikki Dell as well. Um, and hopefully they can get two from two against the Swans on Sunday. Now to just a summary of the you know the big news from last week. Obviously, Josh Battle um, has announced that he is going to go to the Hawks. He's going to be a Hawthorne player. That's going to be announced probably first week of October when the trade period opens. Um, he's put out his sort of thoughts and I've done a video on it as well. So no point going into it too much. If you want to see my thoughts on it, go to uh, the two Josh Battle videos that I've done this week. I think two or three. Um, he's taken up a lot of my time, Josh. Um, a bit selfish there, but yeah, that's very disappointing. Now we're going to have to work out the best way forward in the back line and, and whether we look elsewhere for someone to replace him as a short-term sort of solution or we just, you know, we just blood the kids, Ari, Kamenidi, we give them a chance down there and, and see what happens. So it's going to be an interesting time in the next couple months. Um, sad news, Seb Ross was not offered a contract for the 2025 season. Um, I don't think he's going to retire. I think he's probably got a few, you know, a year left with, with another club, but that remains to be seen, whether it's North or Richmond. But um, two-time best and fairest, win over 200 games, uh, 31 years old. He was a shining light in a very difficult period, you know. <laughs> um, we all know those years when we just we just weren't very good. And he was, him and Jack Stephen were really our, our two sort of A-grade mids at their best. So um, we wish Seb all the best. Uh, I've I've spoken to him a few times and he's an absolute top guy and wherever he goes, whether it's, you know, he finishes up or he goes to another club, he's going to do just fine. So he's an ultimate professional and um, he's, yeah, he's done everything he can for the red, white and black. So I appreciate everything he's done for, for the club. All the best, Seb. Um, Saints farewell. This is some delisting. So some list changes. Tom Campbell, Riley Bonner, Matthew Allison and James Van Ayres were not offered contracts for the 2025 season. Um, I've never seen a delisting where a player has played so many games like Riley Bonner, but um, I think that's quite a ruthless um, decision. I know I, I just didn't expect it. You know, I'm not surprised by it, but I didn't expect it. If that makes sense, um, it's never good seeing players get delisted. But um, you know, we're at that point now where we can't list spots a list spot it's very important we need to open it up we need to bring players in we need to draft players um and if it's part of our list strategy moving forward that's you know you back the club and i don't think anyone can argue with with those decisions as hard as they would have been to make um and i wish those boys all the best you know james van ez cold hero without debuting maddie allison showed some signs at training and match sim and in a few games at sandy tom campbell ultimate professional and riley bonner 
played 18, 19 games, you know, got 400 possessions in 19 games, which was one of the records for the club, uh, but it just didn't work out. So I wish them all the best um, with, with whichever way the, their career goes. Some good news in re-signings, not delistings. Mason Wood signed for three further seasons till uh, I think the end of 2027. And Dan Butler has signed on for a couple of seasons, end of 2026. So that's that's good signings. Mason Wood, a three-year deal at 31. That's that's an ultimate show of faith. He's he's fit as a fiddle, um, and no doubt, you know, he's had massive influence on the youngsters, whether it's the men's or the women's. Uh, wouldn't surprise me if he went into coaching at some point, you know, in, in the latter part of his career as well. He's he's a very knowledgeable footballer. Is Mason? Now to tipping. Obviously, the AFL tipping is done. It doesn't go through to finals, but we have started an AFLW tipping competition, Sainers. So if you want to get involved in that, just hit me hit me up, send me a message. I'll, I'll send you the um, the link to sign up. It's $5 entry. Uh, I've got a few people joining already, um, so make sure you get involved in that. I am not doing very well based on my first. I've got four of eight. I mean, that's that's the standard right now. That's not good. So if you want to join, let me know. And just a quick uh, summary, the podcast finale dropped last night, so that's on YouTube already. It's up on all streaming platforms, so have a listen there. It's a really good episode. We just kind of went into everything, trades, the season, the good, the bad, what we want to see, just general finals talk. It was a really good episode. And I've obviously relaunched Trade Talk, so I've done a few of those already. Talked about Josh Battle, talked about No to Dylan Scheel, uh, Membry to explore his options, which I didn't mention in um, in the previous segments. Jack McRae, Dan Houston was one. He's now said he's not he's not leaving Port. Who we we can replace Josh Battle with? Whether it's Laverde, Tomlinson, maybe we can sneak a Leek Alier. That'd be nice. Even a Mac Andrew, throw some money at him. That'd be amazing. Um, and there's plenty of other content. You know, my season review as well. Um, yeah, and yeah, that's going to be the next couple months for me. It's going to be trade rumors. It's going to be trade goss. It's going to be all that sort of stuff, which I'm very excited about. So um, yeah, that's the channel. That's that's what's latest on the channel. Saints TV Live as well. Tonight, 7 p.m., Max and Jordan. Max is back from his little holiday. It is their final show of the season as well. Um, it's going to be live, so jump on. Have a chat with the boys. Get on the fan cams. Um, let's make it a nice little... Um, you know, end of season video. And then obviously all attention to the girls and, and fingers crossed they can get the win on Sunday. So I'll wrap it up there, Sainers. Thank you very much for, for watching. Thank you for your support on the podcast for the season. Obviously we started midway through the season with all the changes, but hopefully you've enjoyed it. Take care, Sainers. Enjoy the rest of your week. And as always, go you mighty Sainers. See you guys.